Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom where a Sovtard is doing a pre-trial hearing where he decides he wants to go pro se, but the judge, well, tries to talk him out of it by actually presenting the lawyer that could be representing him and letting him speak on his behalf. Will it work? Will the uh, Sovtard be convinced? Stick around and find out. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And Judge, I am on standby on Mr. DeBus. Although I'm not attorney of record, I will be standing by, though. All right, and that's what I'm going to call now because it looks like it's between Mr. DeBus and Mr. Cochran. Well, I can't call. Them. Yeah, Mr. DeBus, you want to start your video? Okay, we are back on the record in... 2023 TR2777, State of Kansas versus Anthony Edward DeBoos with uh, Jared Regeer for the state, Mr. DeBoos in person, and uh, with st standby counsel, Darren Patterson. Standby because my prior contacts with Mr. DeBoos led me to believe that he even though he wants to represent himself, there's uh, much about the legal system that he doesn't know or understand and would need the benefit or would certainly benefit, period, from uh, Mr. Patterson's representation. So, Mr. DeBoos, at this time, uh, you want to talk to Mr. Patterson and and uh, take advantage of his knowledge and experience in the legal system concerning this no driver's license charge, registration, and insurance violations. That would be the smart thing that this lead paint chip eater could do, but given that he's drank the soft hard Kool-Aid, uh, it's certainly not going to be the thing that he does. Let me ask first, are we on the record? Is there a court reporter present? Is there a court reporter present? This hearing is live. It is being recorded. Uh, is someone sitting here with their little fingers clicking across the keyboard? No. So you're saying that this is not currently a court of record. Hey, Lane Brain, uh, did you not hear what the judge said? She said this is live and being recorded on video. So, yeah, it is most certainly a court of record you're nitwit. This is a court of record because this is being recorded subject to transcription at any time okay i would ask for a copy of that transcription well when you file a written motion and pay the transcription fee sir that will be arranged okay and uh phyllis k webster will you please recite your oath of office into the court of record then today no sir i will not why are you refusing to do so? Let's move along. I I would please like to have that answer question or that question answered. <laughs> Another note, I am appearing specially, not generally, under threat of duress and further coercion by the state of Kansas Corporation. Wow, Cletus, uh, I think you need to go back to school and learn what a corporation actually is. Better yet, go take uh, a civics class and learn the difference between government and corporations. You might be pleasantly surprised as to what you'll learn, if you will learn anything at all. But I really don't think it'll work anyway because, you know, your brain stopped functioning a long time ago when it turned into a rock. All right, sir. I did uh, take my oath when I was uh, appointed and when I was elected subsequently. Now, what is it I can help you with today? Do you want a trial, a jury trial, or do you want to enter a plea today? It seemed like last time we had court, you entered the plea for me. 
I did because you would not. Okay. But yet what you were saying suggested you wanted a trial. So I entered the not guilty plea and set it for trial. Uh, somewhere along the line, you led me to believe you wanted a jury trial as opposed to a bench trial. Had I been had I been making the decision, I probably would have said bench trial. But somewhere along the line, you've made comments to make me think you wanted a jury trial. Now, I have not seen, let me double check, I don't think, Mr. DeBoost, that you have filed any kind of demand or request or notice for jury trial. Have you? I thought that was entered into the court last court session. Well, I don't think you filed any motion. You told me you, you apparently you told me you wanted a jury trial, but you never followed through. I thought that was a decision that we made as the court. Well, you and I did not make a decision as, of any kind. Mr. Patterson, do you believe it's acceptable for him to just say he wants a jury trial? <laughs> Your Honor, pursuant to case law, because there are at least up to one year in the county jail possible, um, if it's uh, ever consecutive, then case law would state that he has a right to a jury trial. Agreed, but does he not need to put something in writing to that effect that he wants one? That was uh, my because there's an absolute right to jury trial, he would not have to put it in writing. It would have to be specifically waived by him, Your Honor. And I don't think he's done a waiver. Very well. Do you agree with that, Mr. Regeer? Uh, Your Honor, what I can say at this time is uh, pursuant to KSA 6238 subsection B, quote, on any issue will trial by right of right by a jury, a party may demand a jury trial by serving the other parties with a written demand, which may be included in a pleading no later than 14 days after the last pleading directed to the issue is served and found the demand in accordance with KSA 6205 and amendments thereto. Mr. Patterson, in, in spite of that statutory language, do you think he needs to waive his right to jury trial? Did I hear that right? It, Absolutely, Judge. Um, pursuant to case law, and I don't, don't dispute the statute whatsoever, but uh, there is certain case law that makes it a constitutional right to a jury trial if the sentence would be up to a year in the county jail. And in this case, consecutively, it could be up to a year, the longest possible maximum. So it would have to be waived by him, and he would not have to make anything in writing to receive that. But you don't believe that case law overrules the statutory law, or do you? This is a constitutional right we're talking about, Your Honor. It would trump the statute. Okay. You know, uh, I wonder if this soft card is actually paying attention, if he's able to understand any of this uh, legalese. I'm not a lawyer, but uh, I do find this stuff fascinating, so I'm able to follow it. I just wonder uh, if this soft card with his limited capacity and stone brain would be able to uh, comprehend one word of what these uh, real lawyers are saying. So, Mr. Patterson, when you say up to a year in the county jail, are you thinking if they were to be run concurrently or, I mean, consecutively versus concurrently? That would be the longest possible sentence when you start running them consecutively, and that's what the case law would state. Do you have your statutory site or your case law sites by chance? I know you didn't expect uh, to pull them out. It's not what I keep handy, but uh, giving a short recess, I can find that. Well, now, let me, before you go to that, now, Mr. DeBoost, do you have any idea what's going on here? I, as a common man, do not comprehend the legalese that you guys are using together um i can look up statutes and case law myself and considering that this is dealing with a common right to all people under granted to us in restriction of government entities for the people itself um i comprehend that 
I have my right to jury trial, um, which I thank Mr. Patterson in his brief support towards this and towards me, um, towards my right to a jury trial. Although I do not fully comprehend the legalese that is going on within the association between Jared Revere and yourself, uh, Phyllis K. Webster. So you don't understand any of the legal ease because you are, quote, the common man. Uh, well, I'm sure most common men would be able to understand that. I mean, it give it a little bit of opportunity. But then again, 99% of the common man out there is not as dumb as you are. In fact, uh, it would, I would bet that they would realize the benefit of having somebody who's actually trained and educated in the field of, well, law. I mean, that certainly would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would certainly be nice to have that, oh, that free lawyer or something like that. I don't know. All right. Well, Mr. DeBoose, the point is you do have the right to represent yourself. And you've told me you want to represent yourself. And I've asked Mr. Patterson to, to stand by and, and you've already used him here uh, for this purpose. So here's the thing, Mr. Mr. DeBoos. No, no, let me talk now, Mr. DeBoos. Here's the thing. If you're going to represent yourself, you need to be able to make your own arguments. You need to be able to cite your own law. And if you cannot do that, you have the right to legal assistance, which is why Mr. Patterson is here. And you've already this quickly run into a legal snag that he's made the argument for you. Does it not make sense to you? And do you not want to have his legal assistance to let him represent you? I do not wish to be represented by a attorney whose duty first is to the courts and not to their clients. And if we're speaking on rights in regards to laws and statutes, uh, the arrest made on me by Deputy K. Barricade uh, was an unlawful arrest right. for well, we're not, ASA we're not going 22-2401. On, we're not going down that path officer. right now, sir. Yeah, dude, uh, you certainly need the help. Get yourself the free lawyer because you're citing the exact statute that gives the authority to the officers to arrest your sorry ass. So, dude, uh, you might want to, like I said, use the free freaking lawyer, dumbass. Well, the issue is, so you do want a jury trial. Are you ready to proceed on Wednesday, Mr. DeBoos? May I ask that there be an extension so that way I may fully research the procedures of uh, the administrative criminal law which we're trying to try me under? Well, I'm, I'm not the administrative law judge. That is yet another uh, procedure. Although you are in an administrative court under the state of Kansas Corporation, correct? I, I am, uh, I'm here in a criminal traffic trial and uh, I am not an administrative law judge. So here's what we're going to do. How much time do you want this continued for? Um, 30 days or so seems to be a standard. Well, my next available jury trial date would be October 2nd and 3rd. So, uh, 2024. 2024. So, that's when I will continue this at your request to. I'll grant your continuance, but that's my next available date. And your pre trial will be September 30th. 2024. Do you have any objections to that? No objections. Oh, no. We have to wait seven months before we can uh, see this moron attempt to use the law to defend himself. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good luck with that. But there's just one more thing that has to be said by the judge. And you're going to love this one because she goes out with a bang on it. Uh, Mr. Patterson, do you have any legal authority that suggests that I give, I read his, read, uh, or that I reaffirm my oath for him? Do you have any 
anything that says I should do that. Judge, I'm afraid I've never researched that issue, never heard that issue. All right. Well, same here. I do have my oath in front of me. Uh, I keep it handy, but I don't see the need to re repeat that. It was good enough for the Supreme Court of Kansas. Yeah, uh, that was pretty much her dropping the mic on this soft heart, uh, getting the last word in, and it was beautiful. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?